So welcome back to another barbecue with me. And uh, today, I'm gonna try to make up a nice pulled pork. So I'll take you along for the journey. First, we gotta light this thing up. So I got the charcoal lit, it's about 11 o'clock. So while that's starting to burn up, I'll uh, prepare the meat. To start off, I like to get a nice layer of tin foil down. So it's a beautiful Sunday morning. I figure uh, this would be a perfect day to spend outside and kind of watch this cook happen. Okay, I guess what I'll do, I'll just pat this meat dry. So, being a pulled pork, at the end of this cook, my goal is to be able to just shred that meat. So, what needs to happen is, the fat needs to render down in the meat to kind of loosen it up. But I also don't want the moisture to leave or else everything's going to tighten up. But during the cook I want a nice crunchy layer or a, more of a texture on the outside so that when I shred it you'll get that texture difference when you're eating it. And plus that little bit of flavor of the outside. So see how it goes. So again I'm going to start off with my favorite barbecue rub here. Get it. Sprinkle it on there. Add it down. There. I guess it's nice working in this tray because everything just stays in here. All right, you can kind of roll it around, get the excess on from the bottom here. Right. So let's keep this covered and uh, when our barbecue's ready, it's ready to go on. Okay, that's lighting up quite nice. I just moved some of the coals around to get it started real nice. And uh, now we'll put the rest of our grills on. We'll start off with our ceramic plate here. Our heat deflector. Ooh, get some nice heat coming off there now. Put our lower grill on. Okay, we'll put our upper grill on there. Okay, just let that burn off a little bit more. I don't want to put anything on while it's smoking like this. I like to give the grill a quick wipe with a damp paper towel. Okay, now it's about quarter after 11. I got a nice flame here. It's not overly smoky. I'm going to uh, now close the lid, adjust my vents, and uh, when it temperature levels out, then we'll put the meat on. I'm just gonna adjust that till I have maybe one set of holes showing. I'm gonna adjust that to uh, just under one, something like that. So we'll give that a few minutes to regulate. You'll see the minute I close this down, it kind of snuffs the fire out and I get this smoke. I just want that to go away and then we'll get our meat on. Okay, it's now about 11.30. I got hardly any smoke coming out of here. Let's get the meat on the grill. I don't know why I said it that way. Okay, so what I wanna do, I wanna put the fat side down. I also wanna get this tray underneath. Okay. I want to put some water down in the tray. 
So the whole name of this game is bring this up to temperature, get it cooked right through to the center, try to render as much fat down without losing all the humidity out of the meat, make everything real nice to pull apart. So we'll check back in an hour or two and uh, I'll bring you with me. At the two hour mark, so we're gonna open this up and see what we got. What I wanna do is put a layer of sauce on it. What I'm gonna use is a Valerie's, it's a sweet sauce. And uh, that'll give us an extra layer of protection. I'll hold that moisture in. Okay. Yeah, you can feel the uh, texture here is getting a little, a little stiff on the outside. So this is just what will do the trick here. Put our thermometer in, give us some sort of reading here. See where we're at, see our cook swimming along. See the internal temperature is still around 100 degrees. So before I even think about wrapping this, I want to see at least 200 degrees on this. So we'll close it up, we'll check in an hour, see where we're at. Okay, it's now about 2.30, we're gonna check back in with this guy. So I'm about 138 degrees now internal temperature of the meat and uh, we'll open it up see what we got alrighty I want to uh, sauce the outside of it again yeah the texture on the outside is a little bit softer than it was the first time I opened it which is good Starting to get a layer of flavor there on the outside. Okay, we'll check back again in an hour. Okay, now it's 3.30. Let's check on this bad boy. Oh yeah, getting a nice crust going there. I'm 165 degrees, so that's good. Just want to add a little more sauce. The fat's rendering down and dripping down, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah, look at the juices on there. Just coming out perfect. Yeah, you can see I'm 165 degrees now. Okay, it's now 4:30. We got to check on this bad boy. Let's. Open her up, take a look. Oh yeah, that's just perfect. Here, let me take, bring in closer. Oh yeah, see that crust on there? That's just what I wanted. I wanted to get that texture on the outside. I think this is gonna work out good. I'm uh, now 174 degrees on the inside. Yeah, I think what I need to do now, we need to wrap it. All right, so let's pull this out here this in there. oh yeah nice generous amount here brush it all on you just see too hear that we're getting a nice crust on there. It's going to be good. Yeah, let's put that back on there. Let's put our thermometer back in. Make sure we're reading pretty good there. Yeah. Okay. Close her up. What I want to do now is maybe open up, now that it's all protected, all wrapped up, I want to open up my vent a little more, get a little more heat through there. Yeah, open it up to about two there. 
and I got uh, like three sets of holes there. So we'll see how our temperature changes here. We got, uh, currently we're just under 300, but we had the lid open there, but so. Okay, so now that everything's wrapped up, I'm not as concerned as it drying out because now the moisture's gonna come back in. So let's leave it for a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wait an hour or so. I'll let you know, depending on the temperature. I'm gonna wait for around 200 degrees or so, and then we'll check back. I'll see you then. It's now 5.45. We'll check this bad boy out. Now the weather today has been off and on, wind blowing, a little bit of rain. The good thing about this barbecue, it doesn't care what's going on with the weather. Everything's sealed. Once you have your vents set, it maintains that temperature. It's just perfect. So let's open her up. Okay, so our temperature here, we got uh, 207 here on the temperature gauge now. I just want to open it up and see uh, how tender it is. So, oh yeah, it feels pretty soft here. I actually think I want to go a little bit longer, make sure. I want that whole thing to just tear apart nicely. I'll come back in another uh, 20 minutes or so. Okay, now it's about 10 after six and uh, the wind's picking up, it's getting cold, but uh, we're at 210 degrees on the meat and we'll lift this up, we'll get it off the grill and see what we got. Oh yeah, you gotta see this. Oh yeah, look at that. And you can see all those juices at the bottom of the pan, so I know all that fat's rendered down. And if I take a, take a fork here and just, you can see just how soft that is. Fork go, just goes, look at that, just goes right in. So, we'll take that off, shred it up, see what we got. Oh, it came off in one piece. Okay. Let's see if we could shred this thing apart here. Still got the uh, strings on here, which is probably the only thing holding it together. Oh yeah, as soon as I pulled this string off, everything fell apart. Oh my goodness, that ever looked good. Okay, I'm just gonna Get my fork sandy here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's just just shredding apart like a wow. I'm just gonna do a portion of this here. Get a little barbecue sauce in here. So the best thing is you just keep shredding this apart. Like I could like I was saying earlier, you get those pieces of bark inside the meat here, and it gives it an extra texture, extra flavor. It's starting to rain on me here. I'm just gonna take a bite here, see what we got. Mmm. Wow. Wow, that's. Mmm. That's just amazing. Let me bring the camera a little closer and show you. See how it's just, just pulling apart like that. I mean, I could sauce that up a little more and uh, pull it apart a little more, but um, boy, what a great flavor. I enjoyed sharing this video with you and my way of putting pulled pork together, but um, hope you enjoyed it. 
If you like it, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. I got more cooks on the go, and uh, we'll see you next time when we do another barbecue. I'm also planning on doing something with this pulled pork and a cook for my next fireside brew review, which I'm going to post uh, on Saturday. So if you want to see that, what I do with this pulled pork, you'll have to check that out. We'll see you next time on our next barbecue.